Welcome back everyone, and let's play Space Rangers 2 Reboot. Alright, this Pelion guy, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, it's been some time since I last played this game, uh, a few days ago, in fact. That was a pretty informative one with a lot of RTS action going on the planet's surface. I don't know which planet it exactly was. Maybe uh, from now on, if there's a planetary battle, it is assumed that it is happening right here on the very same planet that you've landed. In all case, uh, I was able to just eke out a victory. Well, I was able to drag out a victory. That is, I didn't really... It didn't seem that easy or simple. Uh, but the gameplay itself is rather, um, I guess, pared down version of the RTS. And another thing I remember is that I got a hefty sum of reward for it, like 1300 credits. And as you can see, my Galaxy Money deposit had definitely jumped to 7500. Now I can pay back at the business center. Thing about last episode was that uh, I think I mentioned it already, but it was rather difficult to record that particular section as the program that I'm using wasn't compatible with the. I don't know why, but it's maybe DirectX 3D. Direct X9 or something, changing from one mode to the other. Hardware accelerated 2D portion to the 3D portion, and my recording software was not able to capture that. So I had to use a different recording software to start right before the planetary battles in order to capture whatever footage, whatever I did, uh, which was not really much to be honest with you, but still, it took me a couple of tries, and you can see that. As I ended the last episode, it wasn't exactly at the same point where I began that planetary battles because after the game had crashed once, I had to go back and then not realizing that I had done something before I had begun the mission. Um, forgot that I had done something in the trade screen um, and uh, I was able to find out I had purchased liquor to sell it to Earth. I don't know what they have in year 3300 but their alcohol consuming party either Mardi Gras or Oktoberfest. Uh, Mardi Gras is already passed, it's August 1st. Yeah so I bought this. I think now we are almost at the point in a proper end to the mission in the last episode. Alright so after this uh, we are ready to begin to uh, go back to earth and sell this liquor like uh, we plan to do after before the planetary battle mission. So let's check out certain stuff yes. just before we go. And all these equipment are all paneling make. Yeah, it does make sense. I guess panelings do have monopoly on their wares, it seems. Um, at least on their world. They don't have a free trade agreement or something like that. Alright, so anyways. Yeah, and uh, this is what we have right now. Everything's all... Yeah, everything is here. Yeah, cargo is the liquor and I learned um, in between the play sessions that it is a good idea to take off these modules before I actually use them um, so I mean this does gain a bit of a wear and tear uh, during the you know, hyper jumps and whatnot and I don't think you can actually fix this yeah as you can see it kind of did suffer somewhere and I don't want to do that unless I am really uh, want to make use of it such as in battles this proportion are I read up on its function a bit deeper and what it does is basically saps the defensive rating for your hull and adds it on the the weapon system so yeah it's off more offense at the expense of defense but for now I don't want it to you know just wear down to nothing uh, without any kind of use so I just put this into the hold as well and um, yeah so repairs are I mean these guys need some repairs but the only thing that truly requires any kind of a fix is the engine so I repair this and maybe the fuel tank I realized that the fuel this is a fuel sign I don't know why but apparently yeah so you can repair it and then fuel it all right so everything is full and most of the damage is on the engine and fuel tank I guess yeah, because I only need to spend 10 more credits to repair this ship fully. Okay, so let's go to the... Alright, so everything is filled up and let's go. Yeah, hull damage is a bit... I think I, I'm okay. So our next... Uh, well... Yeah, let's go to Sun first.
I wonder if there is uh, actually... Oh, this guy is our ranger partner. Uh, I wonder how many... How many days are left until he goes his separate way. But for now, let's talk to him. And then make him follow instead of wasting his time landing on this planet. Uh, Alright. Yeah, follow me immediately. Let's go to Earth. And unload that... Uh, unload the alcohol. Yeah, I like the music in this game. It's pretty cool. Uh, since there's a lot of variety and almost for each uh, ranger stations or whenever the scene changes. Uh, even in different system, I think it does change a bit. Alright, so... Yeah, I did read up on different stuff about this game um, after I played the last mission, recorded the last episode. and. Yeah, it's a very deep game, uh, and there's a lot of things to do. The ins and outs and little tricks that you can use to, you know, earn money, such as buying a lot of one single item that costs a lot, such as luxury item, and basically unload like all of them on one system. The economic system on a single planet works on a scale of supply and demand, so the luxury item is going to go down in price. And if it goes down in price, you buy it up once more, and then maybe go to a different planet uh, for a while and then the because the Luxor item has been all sold the item prices on the particular planet that you landed is going to soar like sky high and then you can come back and then sell it once more so that's how you can exploit it I might you know try it maybe if I really have a need for uh, credit but for now let's concentrate on the missions and uh, Let's unload this. Yeah, the price has gone down substantially, it seems. I think. Did I... Yeah. Oh, so you can actually... Uh, this is actually a reminder that there's some property there not on the ship store somewhere. In the Ranger Center Dreamer. So yeah, I think this is a good reminder. I thought that maybe I would forget about the biotic droid and the uh, protection generator that I chose in the beginning of the game. But yeah, it reminds me. Uh, Alright, so let's sell this. Yeah, and um, did I make a profit? Probably not. I just missed the boat. Alright, so welcome to our planet. We sincerely hope that you have no interest in control substances. Well, I mean, I already downloaded and it's not apparently illegal in your planet, so. If you do have a thing about drugs, then go to the system of Ozeum Planet Pliny. You can get these products that are quite legally for as low as 362 credits per conditional unit. Okay. Well, let's ask about uh, the special quest. Uh, so these are the government sanctioned or government issued missions. That's going to come under the, the mission difficulty, so it might be considered impossible. But I'd like to try it just to get a hang of it and then see how impossible it is. Uh, so let's go and then uh, see. Um, Oh, okay, there's another option. I get the impression that you do not particularly like me for some reason. This must be corrected immediately. Yeah, what have I done except for smuggling in some control substances? Installment 737 credits. The basis of a mutual understanding. Oh yeah, so you can bribe this guy. I kind of think all the poor old people who need your money. Um, do you not change myself unless you become a renowned galaxy hero, which you had no doubt about? Well, maybe let's see if you know doing a quest for them is going to change their attitude as well. We deal with only those rangers with whom are on good terms, and your reputation on this planet, Malok, leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, okay. I don't know why I assumed that particular accent uh, <laughs> um, for this Earth guy. So, even if you are not on good terms with them, even a neutral standing with them, you know, they will not do business with you. Yeah, okay, so that's too bad, but let's see uh, if they actually sell me something at least. So they still sell me. They're not that close-minded. Oh, let's cut, finally. Wow, look at the space that it's gonna take up, 90. Probably as time goes on, uh, this might become miniaturized, so by then there'll be more weapons to choose from, but let's cut might be a bit more feasible for my very small haul. These fragrant cannons are yeah, suitably 
miniaturized, pretty interesting. Uh, and there is a transient scanner. Okay, I think we have a uh, yeah, generator also and droid at the ranger center. I'd like to see if I can upgrade those in the meantime. You can also check on the search function and see which weapons are in the class by itself. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Yeah, so you can see the prices here determine... Wow, this is really good. Paling make weapon. Damage of 24 to 56. Wow, this is great. But it really is a high cost weapon. But yeah, I, I'm suddenly very interested. Um, but uh, in my opinion, the best starting weapon, of course, is the missile launcher. And I think I made a mistake of not choosing that uh, weapon as a starting gear or bonus weapon. Yeah, you can see that yeah, all of them are pretty high. Well, most of them are rather take up a lot of space. On average, all I want to find in a weapon is around 30 or less in terms of space occupied. So. Yeah, this looks really good, uh, but I don't know if I can afford it. Maybe after doing a couple of missions, maybe the Ranger Center might offer me a bit more. Alright, so how much does it cost? Okay, the only the hull, right? Alright. So what do I have here? Okay, the hull, the proportion R, and probe. Okay, I do have a probe, and I want to see if I can, you know, probe certain worlds. Well, I wonder if Uranus is actually uh, occupied or populated. Alright, so let's go. Alright, let's see. Let's click here and see. Alright, so Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. So Neptune is empty, Mercury is empty. Um, Alright, so let's see if I can go to Mercury and then drop my probe. And see if there's any artifacts or uh, items of interest that we can pick up. Alright, so here we go. Landing on Mercury, a very hot planet. Forget Mercury, sentient life not present. This is pretty nice, but yeah. It is really, really boiling hot, probably. No spaceport, landing undesirable. Unexplored territories, water 180, water nothing, plains 180, and mountains 30. Okay, so perfect for my probe. Terrain survey, okay. So let's take this and. Uh, you just drag it to, uh, I guess, an orbit where you gotta choose one orbit where you think it is going to be most uh, desirable for the operation of this particular thing. All right, let's click it here, and let's see. Um, low orbit satellite of C class carries out monitoring on planes. Long service period guaranteed. Uh, okay, so probe has been launched and it is beeping around. And after a few days, I might be able to find uh, what this guy has was able to find. Yeah, so if you have high technical skills, which you can artificially increase by using a drug, you can control even more droids at the same time. So maybe I can put more probes here to survey Mercury, but yeah, for now, let's uh, exit or... Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, for a few days, at least. All right, so other science base, medical base, and the ranger center. Yeah, ranger center. Let's land and see if the ranger center has any. Okay, I have 28. Okay. Just get this first. And land on it. Yep. Uh, where's my partner once again? I don't know where he is. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Ranger Center Dreamer, our station is here to help you in your Ranger activities. Let us evaluate your activities. According to your data, Ranger, do not cope with your responsibilities very well based on the galactic classification. You're number 49. Yeah, I know that. And my mouse has been corrupted. Anyways, yeah. Um, Micromodule. Let's see. Yeah, different micromodules help you to augment your weapons further. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. Uh, 140 points plus speed. That's nice to have. Um, I can buy 9 of these. 
so you can increase hull size wow with nodes and engine speed jump distance as well yeah do not trade yet all right so is there any missions oh no missions for me okay so you gotta do the planetary missions uh, they don't really give out missions themselves all right so that's uh, a little unfortunate that i waste my time but if i buy this then i will not have wasted my time at all Fragment cannon wow looks uh, really good uh, yeah well this is pretty not a bad weapon to have around that's for sure oh this guy is, yeah requires a lot of fixes Alright. Wait, droid. 40. Hmm. Forty, wow, yeah. Ten points. Well, let's just unload this first, the mines, the minerals. Alright, okay, and then see if I can bring one of the droids and upgrade it, just like the last time. I'm not really too keen in upgrading stuff, but if it is able to miniaturize it a bit, then I'll be able to use this actually. So, let's see what I can take out. Uh, let's I can take this out. And yeah, the droid might help me and... Uh, right, okay. Fix this is not too bad. Alright, so let's go to science base and see if I can upgrade or improve upon my droid. Um, yeah, take this first and then I mean, this is gonna add up in the end probably. Yeah, that too. Oh my goodness, close call. But this one? Five. Yeah, there's Ranger Timothy. That's good. Okay. Let's nice land. I'm sorry about that, Timothy. <laughs> For making you wait. Alright, welcome to scientific base of Virus Bank, Ranger Malloc. Upgrade my equipment. Uh, okay, so you can upgrade all this, but not the droid. Uh, I can upgrade the droid, huh? Um, which needs repairs? Oh, Gripper. Alright, okay. Um, yeah, you can upgrade your droid yet, I guess. Oh, that sucks. What the engine? We can engage the best technicians or the experiment with your equipment, but their service is expensive. Alright. I pay for the best guys you've got. Does it make sense to buy it? Uh, how much does the engine cost? 420, 22. Yeah, I don't think it's really. I mean, it costs a lot of money um, for some reason. This particular engine, I don't know what it does, but. Can you even. Dabbing engine, 420, 22. Uh, yeah, 450, 19. So I guess it's a bit better. Yeah, but I don't know. I guess it's not really worth it. Yeah. Alright, so we'll just haul pirate. Hmm. It's a lot of money. Yeah. That question. Hmm, okay. The haul might be a bit... Haul might need some upgrade, if not too expensive. 2760. Uh, well, let's just try for the sake of it. Let's 
3310. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so what does it do? Oh. Okay. I guess it does upgrade a bit, but. Eh. Not much. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because it has dumb scientists or something. Well. Anyways, yeah, I go to some other place here on the solar system and see. Uh, sell minerals and yeah, buy these and, and go to other yeah, part of space where it's needed. Uh, let's check. Uh, yeah, let's check the goods. Okay. Yeah. All right. Caragon Sun, uh, sixty-seven. Okay. Eighty-three. Not bad. Eighty-three. Okay. Eighty-nine. Bello guys. Ninety-one. So on the whole, agricultural worlds do offer more for the industrial goods of equipment. Did make sense. 94, yeah. Uh, die them. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything about me transporting equipment. I think they are allowed. So, die them is close by. Okay. Alright, let's head out with my improved uh, Ranger Hall. And let's go back to Mercury and see. What they have done, probing the world. So, okay. Seems the plane's number has increased for some reason. Alright, let's check out whether my probe did its work. Discover something of interest. Oh boy. Just missed me once again. Alright, let's see. If, um. Okay, so not yet, I guess. 69 days, research, only 42. I think this is percentage, right? Or is it uh, well, 42 out of 180? But yeah, it has to spend some time. Okay, so I can come back later. Uh, if it's any indication, then it might give me a short notice that it has... Alright, so Ranger Center Dreamer has Proportion R, Shortwave Protection Generator Industry Laser. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot about the... Yeah, forgot about the... Damn it! I need to go back because I need to equip my mining laser. Did I gain my fuel or something or did I get damaged? Yeah, I got damaged because I flew too close to the sun. My goodness, I'm making a lot of mistakes in this. Um, I hope to be able to do at least one mission here. Oh my goodness. Uh. Oh boy. Ranger Center Dreamer. Oh, this is not the Ranger Center. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm just making a lot of mistakes. Oh goodness. Here. Oh, I'm sorry folks, I am just uh, got confused for a second there. Alright, so good relations, that's good. Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I can take out this droid. Install this, still have 17, yeah. See if I can make some kind of trade. Yeah, alright, that's good. And let's go to the Diadem. Paintings do seem to like me a bit more, so let's get the mission from them as well. Alright, so let's go, let's go. Alright, okay. Yeah, let's go to Diadem. 
Right. Uh, does it mean that all the Feiyan and Galleon worlds will not give me any kind of... Uh, oh my goodness! Oh, I almost got hit by an asteroid. Yeah, they're not gonna give out missions or they just plain refuse to deal with me. That kind of sucks. Yeah. So, kind of gas me. Here it is. Nice. And you can also read up, uh, read up on the the report on uh, the you know current situation is another part of the system, and maybe there might be some opportunities. Um, all right, let's sell first. A man's word is man's doing. That's what you, Malok, likes to hear it. Sure, I know a whole lot of human things. Or oh, here's another one. Canine, will you pay me for this? Sounds good, eh? I think that a canine is something like a Malok, dumb and disobedient. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they plainly don't like Malloks or uh, you look down upon them as the rest of the galaxy races would do. Uh, but a Malok will always pay. It's only that they are short of the money. We have installed the special Feiyan Teller machines with the secret, so now we receive 50% of cash from all of their operations. And these guys are they're all about subterfuge and trying to exploit opportunities as they come. Sort of a big criminal organization or something. Alright, so I can sell both of these at a pretty tidy sum. Yeah, let's just unload every one of them. And what do you have? So agricultural economies do seem to have a bit more... Well, I guess they have lower food prices, that's for sure. If you check, right now there's 30 right now, and if you check in other industrial worlds, uh, for example. Yeah, so industrial, let's check out the industrial worlds. Uh, well, I guess I lied, yeah, it's, it's not high at all. Okay, all depends on the... All depends on, I guess, on supply and demand, and I guess they do have a plenty of supply after the harvest. 35, 33, yeah, that's the highest price that I see. Yeah, yeah, not, not much to be gained there. Alright, let's do a government mission. I can even buy a star map. Uh, if I want to reveal more of the galaxy, how about um, buying a star map of Zondar? Uh, okay, Zondar seems to be a pretty interesting place. Yeah, sure. The information on the star system coordinate has been transmitted to your terminal. Any special quest? Uh, okay, wow. Esteemed the Yakusha Malok, would you like 1200 credits for rather party work? Uh huh. Okay. Our planet suffers some Ragobam bullfrogs. They give no hold for food literally. This is because of the experimental instrument for toad breeding that we tested. It's here attempts to modify unfinished projects adopted from the galleons led to. A small mistake occurred in the design. We cannot switch the instrument off as it caused an explosion of the inbuilt hypernuclear synthesizer that transforms vacuum power into matter. Oh, that sounds really dangerous. The explosion itself won't be large, just like a lamp burning out, but the chain of reaction that we follow can theoretically involve the whole planet. It's not proven for sure, but we prefer caution. Yeah, like any pellang would. Uh, nevertheless, it's not possible to leave the situation as it is. There's more and more toads, and we don't know how to eliminate them. Our world is on the brink of ecological cataclysm. The solution is to carry this device afar. For example, to present it to humans. Uh, alright, my honest gentlemen, take this instrument, see? Toes are just winning from it, and carry it to plenty Ozium system. It's not only a pretty penny that you get for that, but also penning's gratitude. You must match it in 54 days, or the multiplied toes will crack your spaceship. Oh my goodness, 54, huh? Alright, let's just check whether uh, this is close enough. Ozium, it's... Wow. 26 days required. Well, I don't know if better is going to give me a bad standing uh, with the humans on Pliny, but I guess I can accept that. Yeah, let's accept it and see uh, whether uh, this is going to... Toad Explosion Device, huh? Why don't I just, you know, 
discarded in the galaxy so the toes coming out will be frozen instantly or something i'm not so sure why this guy thinks this guy is just trying to uh, make sure that you know people opinion is going to be inconvenient so i need to think it over um maybe he's going to have a different anything easier than that or okay how about anything easier than that uh 840 credit for a rather party work still Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so any easier means that it's going to give us uh, more days to complete the same mission. How about difficult? Uh, more difficult. 27 days. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to achieve it. And I think this is where the, the difficulty of the missions come in. This doesn't seem too hard because this is just a fetch quest. Um, but I guess in the other part of the... I guess in other missions we need to escort certain transport for example the time required is going to be such that your engine might not be able to keep it up without refueling and uh, the other transport is still going to go in its merry way while you have to refuel on some planet uh, that's why you have to have a lot of fuel and also very fast engine uh, yeah later then I don't think this is a good place to get a mission is there any special uh, okay, so anything special here? No, nothing. Nothing at all. It's a very sparse system. But I got a... Oh, okay, map tour the Vekar. On oh, the fan world. There's a pirate base too. They all don't like me for some reason. Oh, uh, well, okay. There is a... Oh, okay, Battle in Arrakis. Maybe you can check it out. Yeah, and let's see the Ganyan world. Um, uh, or I can just jump toward the pirate center, pirate base, and see what they offer. Okay, well, the mission has to wait. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, they have Lazcas and Fragment Cannons now. Okay. Oh, pretty cool. Uh, contraption here. Visor, but only covers his uh, mouth or something. You know, breathing hole. Alright, Ranger Timothy, uh, keep following me. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's go to Pirate Base. Yeah, is there any kind of fight happening somewhere? Um, I'm anybody like trying to accost me or challenge me to a duel? Oh well. Alright, so Pirate Base is right here. Pirate Base is where I think, I mean, offers services similar to other stations. I think it'd be able to give you like a, if you don't like who you are, you can basically change your face and your basically uh, the appearance as well. So you might be able to escape notice or any kind of a notoriety you might have built up. And these guys are a pirate. Okay, cool. Hey Marlock, sit down and have a drink. Want a nuclear special? What do you mean? Sulfuric acid. So what? It's just 18%. Goes right goes right for the lemons. Well, up to you. So what did you want to know? Where are these dominators coming from anyway? Oh, this is kind of small bar talk. You're a ranger, aren't you? Go ask your bosses. What? They won't tell you? See politicals, bugger them with the bugger them for a lark. These guys hold on to their secrets even when the pincher quack has their teeth in them. Alright, there's no such secret that cannot be acquired for money, say for a 500 credit. Uh, okay. Anyways, it's all because of the stupid Melox. Some fighters they are. Anyhow, a long time ago, before the Christian War broke out, we here, I mean the races that are now in the coalition, had all sorts of scrapping going among each other. Back then they developed those new smart robots who'd build, repair and upgrade each other and stuff all by themselves. Okay, so it's something like droids. Flexible micromodule architecture, that's what the big brains call them. So they developed them and then people got freaked out. Um, yeah. What if these robots became too smart? I heard that on some planets they ended up in a mass slaughtering both the enemies and our guys. To cut a long story short, they eliminated the whole program to be on the safe side. All five races agreed that they will not only destroy other robots, but even their design drawings. And well, these Marlocks, they figured they were smarter than everyone else and they hid their robots on some planet in the middle of nowhere. 
which nobody knew of. So, okay, so Malox are the ones that basically, uh, you know, kept the program of sentient robots. The robots ran out of control. What's the matter with you, Malox? Are you nuts? Nothing ever goes out of control with Malox. Don't interrupt me. Listen. So later in the day, the planet was taken over by the Clissons. Right at the beginning of that war. Okay, so it's not the fault with Malox, but they started it. Uh, some serious scrapping was done there. The Malox naturally got theirs kicked, but they ran off, they even nuked the planet. Ah, uh, so that the Christians wouldn't get their hands on anything. Then, after the war was over, the Malox sent a ship to that planet to check it out, you know. But they figured they didn't want to land too much radiation, you know. And of course, they couldn't get much information from Orbis, so up they went. Warrens, I tell ya. These robots were assembled from micromodules capable of self-repairing and building new ones just like themselves. Some of those modules survived and figured out how to add certain Christian parts to themselves. The collection of flotsam and jetsam was what the Dominators hatched from. They evolved right there on Glogar. The scholars can figure it out why the Dominators hate us so much. But what would you do if you were first bombed into pieces then baked in radiation for a couple of centuries? The wonder they ended up so mean and crazy. And again, crazy or not, they were smart enough to outsmart our military. When the Palings first discovered the Dominators, their entire fleet rushed down onto Gragar and well, two thirds of it ended up staying there for good. And the Dominators, they rushed their leaders out of the heart and then showed up unharmed a couple of months later. Yep, it all sucks, really. And that's all? Who's leading them? How do they think? It's possible to build an army of Dominators of our own. What do you think? I was gonna tell you where the treasure is hidden for 500 credits? No way, Malok. I'm gonna tell you what you pay for. Nobody knows how to make those Dominators. Oh, he certainly knows a lot about the origins. I think, you know, he's telling the truth. The Dominators were the you know, self-replicating robots or sentient robots that people relied on too much. Uh, the technology that people relied on too much were fused with something that they didn't know about and you know, basically laid to a very uncontrollable uh, situation right now. I guess that 500 credits was the wall that I had to climb over to get the pirate services. I want to change my citizenship for example, I want to buy programs and fix the equipment. Cloaking device, that's pretty cool. Alright, what is this about cloaking device? A secret military development with a code named Chameleon came into our position. This device is mounted to the outer hull of the ship and generates a holographic picture of pre-selected spacecraft. We managed to obtain 3D matrices of Dominator ships. Oh wow, okay. Camouflage of a series blazer and... Oh, so you can wear the enemy's skin to, um, I guess, ward off potential attackers. Things can get pretty bad that you have to wear the camouflage of, uh, you know, Dominator ships. Uh, that's definitely a possibility if you're a pirate. You have to uh, hide yourself among the shadows before uh, taking that off and attacking. Could be pretty interesting. All right. So what is the programs that you have right here? All our programs comply with the copyright law. It means copied correctly. Yeah, I concur with that. Copy correctly. Uh, no digit, no DRMs here. Um, there's actually a pretty funny DRM scheme in Space Rangers 2 games. I don't know uh, if you heard about it. I wanted to actually check it out by downloading a you know pirated piece of Space Rangers 2 to, to you know see for myself, but. Um, all right. Anyway, so these are the programs that uh, this guy offers. Okay. So what does it do? All robot data is deleted. The affected dominators disconnect and fails to respond to any signals. Wow, this is pretty cool. So this is like a magic spell for against, uh, against dominators that you can use. Um, Shocker 5300. The program interferes with the functioning of the electrical chain obstructing the navigation. The affected robot will fly slowly and shoot inaccurately. Hmm. The robot, huh? Okay, interesting. So 56% pirate discount. Oh, they give me a pirate discount. That's pretty cool. Oh, I don't think I need it yet. So yeah, that's the pirate base we have seen. Uh, that was pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I want to actually do something before the time is up. I mean, I want to do some missions. Um, fortunately, I was not able to do that. There's another ranger center. Um, well, yeah. Okay, let's ask one of these guys if they have uh, another mission. Oh, this is another unsettled planet. 
I wonder if uh, these guys. I wonder if these guys settle uh, on the world as the game progresses. This is obviously a padding world, and there's some uh, unoccupied planet still. All right, let's land here and see. All right, so government mission, if you please. Aha, Malok, excellent. The fans recently declared embargo on us, which affects the supplies of some completely harmless weed. Uh, we really like not to break the law, but you being a creature of another race could probably do us some of a favor. You want to earn some? Then listen. Uh, Alright. Here, it's legal. You go, you buy, you sell, no problem. We sell it at 450, then they buy it at 483 credits. See the difference? What do they need actually? Is this luxury item? I'm not so sure, but all right. Let's see if uh, there's a special quest here. There's a chance for you to snatch a lump sum of 1,200 credits. The planet Gashi, the Mankar system, will soon like its supreme Yakusha. Following a centuries-old planning tradition, these elections are actually a mud-throwing competition between. Oh, this is the text adventure. The winner gets this SL order and becomes a supreme Yakusha, and others who take the next six positions get cups of honor. They must deliver these awards to their destination. Oh, okay. I thought this was text adventure, but you have to just deliver these awards so you don't get involved in the election. Alright, so by January 12th, 3301. Okay. So, Prenet Genshin, the Mankar system. So, where's Mankar? Oh, right here. Wow, it's so pretty close. Ah. Uh, January 12th, huh? Alright, all depends whether I can land in caster. Okay, I can land in caster here. Okay. January 12th, huh? The 38th. I'm, I think I'll be able to barely make it, but... Easier than that, though. 840 credits. Uh, Alright, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, let's see. Alright, okay, so... Um, no, I'm just trying to... Okay, so we have to go head straight to Mankar and Planet Grashi. 54 days. Wow, it's not going to happen. Uh, 19 and 38. Oh man, I'm gonna cut it close. Alright, let's go. Alright, so one single day is important. So let's jump to Caster first. Yeah, has to be caster. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness, by January twelfth. Man, I don't know. Come on, let's go. Come on, twelve hundred credits. I need those credits. Oh my goodness, I don't think I can make it. Oh man. I should upgrade my engine instead of my hull. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Oh man, 18 days? Come on, man. Oh man. Oh, bad. Eight days? Okay. Well, let's see if they actually sell any fuel. Uh, hope they don't attack me. Oh my goodness. Come on, land on it. Yeah, let's see what they say first. Ranger Merlock, your reputation is in dealing with our planet and our entire race in general is far from good. Which is why, as a government representative, I inform you that you are banned from trading on this planet. Oh, great. Oh, I can buy a fuel though, that's good. Alright, let's go. Let's go to... Oh, barely. Oh, man car! Oh my goodness. Holy crap. There's Dominators there, folks. I have to try, but maybe I should save first. Oh my goodness. Uh, I guess I hope I don't die there. Come on. 
Okay. Genshi. Four. Yes, I can make it. Come on. Land there. Okay, it's coming toward me. This is better. This is great. Okay, I thought that I wasn't able to make it, but... Well, here I am. I'm gonna get some credits back, right? Nice. Great. Uh, yeah, so have you brought the order SL and the cups? Wonderful, Merlock. 1200 credits is transferred to your account. We got the prizes, so we'll soon start the elections. All we need to wait for the rainy season when there'll be more mud and the performance will attract much more people. Yeah, much more people in the mudslinging, mudslinging uh, from the candidates. In Panang World, this is actually literally mudslinging contest. Believe me, I'm expert in this. We the Phalanx became perfect at holding election campaigns. Most known societies are far from being able to provide 100% attendance of their electors. Yeah, if the mostling uh, is actually able to attract 100% attendance, maybe uh, we should try it on the human world as well. In this particular case, money cannot be considered an adequate award for what you did, Melok, so... An additional bonus, we'd like to give you this special gift, Droid Jr. Wow, this is pretty cool. Droid Jr. is a lighter version of the main droid. Connected to the main cable using a special synchronization system. Works with the main droid, increasing the speed of repair works on ship. Uh, okay, so I got a node or something. Alright, so is there any special quest here? Our system is stacked by dominators. While you're hanging out right here, our ships are in danger in orbit. You must enter the battle immediately. Oh, great. Okay, so I guess this is a good time as any to end this episode because we're going to see or even uh, attempt to shoot at Dominators for a few turns before running away, running the heck out of the dodge and you're gonna see why collision races fear them so much. Yeah, anyways, thank you for watching this episode. I'm sorry that nothing really exciting happened aside from, you know, ferrying to and fro with a bit of a downtime in between reaching places. At least I was able to achieve a FedEx mission. <laughs> yeah, luckily enough, the, the planet was on my side where I entered into this system rather than the other side, which would have taken much longer and probably would uh, yeah, fail this mission. I really did not want to um, incur the wrath of the last remaining race that is friendly to me, so yeah, that was a bit of a gamble. Uh, anyways, thanks once again for watching and see you next time.